lot in comedy, I had no idea how to write a joke, and I figured it out pretty quick. You want to become a comic, you want to know how to write a joke, read a paper. The jokes are there every day. And I could write a new joke every day. Honest to God, I could, you know? But I got so many, and I'm not going to do a whole show of them, but here's some old and new. You just, you can't write shit like this, all right? In McCallum, Texas, a train jumps a track, goes up over an embankment, flies through the air, lands on top of a house where there's a party going on. 25 people there, five of them die. Houston Chronicle says that most of the people in the house are caught by surprise. <laughs> not, not all of them. I mean, somebody was expecting it. Somebody got up in McAllen and went, you know, Myrtle, You know, Myrtle, I wouldn't be a bad goddamn surprise if a locomotive don't fall on our fucking head today. That wouldn't surprise <laughs> Tell you what, train come through your ceiling and it don't surprise you. You're, you're a hard son of a bitch to surprise. Blank, but <laughs> Miami Herald was a story about a man who got killed by a duck. He got he got killed by a duck. You know the number of people in all of history that's been killed by a duck? It's, it's still in single digits. Uh, not only did he get killed by a duck, his buddy videotaped him. <laughs> He's on a jet ski coming down a waterway. Meep, everybody up here filming. You knew it was going to happen if you ever thought about it. Here comes a low flying duck. Oh, you see the duck fly low, man. I mean, they're bringing it. Their necks out there. They're looking, right? You never see a duck fly that fast. So here comes the duck. right between the eyes and kills him and the duck instantaneously. I read this. Three thoughts came to my mind, one right after another. First thought was, you know, brothers and sisters, I've always believed in my heart of hearts that we die on the day we're supposed to die. If that's so, I wonder how many ways God missed that guy. <laughs> Four, he got down to the duck. There's a lot of ways to die before you find yourself being aflac by a mouth. Second thought was, did the guy on shore go, Duck! <laughs> in, in, in which case, they go, What, bam! Now you got feathers and brain matter. The third thought was, Fuck it, maybe it was the duck's day to go. prove there are times when it is indeed the duck's day to go, uh, when Captain Scully, uh, was that his name, landed that airplane in the Hudson River here about 16 months ago, the finest bit of flying ever, uh, all 155 humans walked away from that deal. The flock of geese that they hit that started all that shit, well, they didn't make it, okay? That was, that was, it was the duck's day to go. And, uh, you know, and those people on the wing were a lot goddamn calmer than I would have been. You know, I mean, you know, I've been, I've been, we're alive, we're alive. I thought we were dead some bitches, but we're alive. And, and they looked like they were waiting on a bus to go.
two more. Oldie but a goody here. He's both oldie but goody. Baton Rouge, Louisiana. This man is, is sitting on the banks of the river fishing in the Mississippi River. This woman, who does not know him, parks her car, sneaks up behind him, picks up a piece of driftwood, beats him to death with it. Whappity, whappity, whap. She then she grabs his dead body out in the river and sinks it, gurgle, 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 and, 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 uh, and the current sweeps the body away. She gets back in her car and drives off. The next day, in the newspaper, the police say they suspect that this had been a brutal attack. And the reason they suspect this, the police had noticed that one of this dead man's testicles was still laying up on the river bank. Oh! Oh, shit, that's a clue, all right. Oh, oh I'm glad you noticed that. I got get CSI over here right away. That's, that's a fucking clue. And then I thought, you know, I don't know of a gentle way to hit a guy with a piece of driftwood so that not only does it kill him, one of his balls <laughs> pops. Sweet mother of Jesus. She hit him in the head and his nut popped out. That's how hard she hit him. Bam! Pop! And it rolls down his pants leg and they suspect it was a brutal attack. That's just fucking funny, man. That's just fucking funny right there. It's as dark as night. It's not funny to that one guy, but sometimes that's the way the old ball bounces. You die, we laugh. See if I can kill off a couple more. A John and Mary story from the New York Times. John and Mary have been going together for five years. John decides to break it off. He goes over to Mary's apartment. He rides the elevator up. She lets him in. He tells her, Mary, Mary, five years, baby. Gosh, gosh, I've just learned to hate your ass. Uh, what a mega bitch you have turned out to be. I, I can't believe I've stayed this long, but Mary, I've come to my senses, and I'm out of here. And John turns around and leaves. Mary, bless her heart, so upset, can't face the prospect of life without John, prick that he may be. Mary decides to kill herself, jumps up off her couch, runs across the front room, dives head first off her sixth floor balcony, and hits John. <laughs> and he's coming out the front door. It, it kills John and not Mary. John's up in heaven, they go, hey, John, come here, man. How'd you die? John goes, shit, I don't know. I'm walking out the door. This bitch falls out of the sky and kills me. And the guy in heaven next to him goes, oh, yeah, let me tell you about this damn duck.